Hi guys and girls, so I thought I'd share with you this morning our new project car. Let's go over the basics of it and what we will be doing to it. Um, I think it's a 51, I'm not actually 100% sure so don't quote me on that. Um, just going off its body shape, but I don't know, there's no numbers on it, <laughs> on the chassis anywhere that I can tell, so I've just googled other ones to see what it looks like. It's a Dodge Vargo panel van. It's had a roof chop, so that's why it is lower and looks fat. So we're going to be doing a bit of a rat rod style to it. So we're going to go matte black and my partner wants to put on um, different wheels, but I like the idea of doing red wheels with white walls um because doing the matte black it would just pop and stand out and my partner wants to stick wires on it so we'll just see which one's gonna go <laughs> knowing him we'll probably end up getting both so and then just swap and change depending on what he feels like so let's go for a walkthrough we're not sure if we're gonna put that on there yet i just reckon it looks badass with that on there the scoop um, the bumper, we've got to stick mounts on it to stick that on. So as you can see, it's going to hit the ground. <laughs> um, this originally is a butterfly bonnet, so it would open either side, but the previous people that owned it welded it shut. So we're still not 100% sure if we're going to cut it and butterfly it again or not. Um, but at this stage, I think we're keeping it fixed together. So, see that's so it's got the handles on the side to, and then pop it open. The inside has got the Mexican blanket everywhere, as you can see. <laughs> uh, stick on the ground, I think it's three speed. Still got the original motor, so it's like 70 years old <laughs> and runs like a beauty. Kicks over first go. And got straight through pipes, so it sounds chunky. So I have started doing some bodywork around the windows and stuff where it's had all the welds because it's had a roof chop, like I explained. So you can see here where it's been brought down and then re-welded. So these all have to be ground back and bogged to give it a nicer finish. But we are sort of going with more of a rat rod style, so it doesn't have to be pristine um, see as you can see here where it's had the chop so you can see all the way through it's been lowered all the way through the doors everything um, and then had to be welded multiple times to go back around because that all had to be changed you would have seen a quick video of me the other day repairing this back quarter with my kids because yeah I can only really get short periods of time in on it when I'm not working with babies. <laughs> I've got twins and a two-year-old, so I'm pretty full on. You can see here the people that did the welding used gold stuff, which would have looked really cool if the dude was a decent welder, but it's pretty rough, so we're not gonna leave it. <laughs> My partner wants to, but I was like, nah, it's too rough. Like, but we're going rat rod. I'm like, yeah, nah. We'll make it look a little prettier. <laughs> and you can see down here where it's had the chop in the doors. And repairs to panel work here and stuff. They've taken out the old school air conditioner. That used to have a thing that would pop up there so then it'd blow air straight into the cab. So they've welded that up. Here's a look under the hood, the original motor. It's a bit tight to show you down this side guys, but that's why we put it on dollies. So that, that way when we take the Phoenix out, that's next to it, because that runs and drives. We just drive that out and push this over when we're working on it.
You can see up here on the roof here where it's got a big metal patch through there where the roof's been chopped and for the arc of the front because it's all been lowered. Surprisingly, this thing's pretty good for rust. It's got a bit of surface rust, but nothing too major. So here you can see the roof body chop and then it goes down into the door here, you can see. So it can get that arc around. So the windows have been taken out and filled as well. And then around here you can see where the body chop is here, which hasn't been welded yet. So yeah, it looks pretty cool without the windows. Makes it just look a little bit more fatter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you guys want? Let's see. So do you guys want white walls on it with red or do you want wires? Leave your comments below. So let's see which one.